Hey, what's up, you Wonder Station gay? Yeah, playing uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, it's a game made in 2019. Uh, it's uh, what we call like a Metroidvania game, which is like uh, you know a game where a 2D platform game where you have to explore or explore the whole like uh, map world, and you can like backtracking all that in order to get like uh, you know more upgrades along with unlocking some paths that you couldn't before so yeah it is kind of game but anyways gonna press any key here so let's see before we're gonna start playing this gonna click it on the configuration the sound is okay let's see love you uh yeah i'm playing this at 720p uh, the, ang the language is english voice language in english uh, yeah, this game is made by Japanese developers, but uh, since the setting is in Europe, I'm gonna leave it in English because it's gonna make more sense that way. And as for the controls, wow, well, I think it's pretty much uh, what I would like to have. And yeah, I'm playing this on the keyboard. Usually, platform games are meant to play on, you know, controller controller stick well not controller stick but like you know gamepad but I'm gonna play this on the keyboard because I already play like a large amount of uh, platform games on uh, you know gamepad but anyways I'm gonna press uh, game start in order to play this and new data I'm gonna start playing this from the beginning of the game here uh, name Miriam. Yeah, for those who didn't know, Miriam is the main character of this game, which is a girl, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, difficulty, normal, hard, and nightmare. Nightmare seems that the, it needs to be unlocked. So, but I'm gonna go with normal because, you know, it's a default difficulty. And since that uh, this is my first time playing this, I just want to make sure that I'm doing things right. So that's why I don't want to take too much risk. So yeah, I'm gonna select normal. Oh, that's a tip. Attacking leaves you vulnerable, but you can backstep. You can continue firing or running out of ammo, but you'll still be switching to weaker bullets. Pressing gradually depletes your HP until the condition wears off. All right. Is that it? The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, the horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon the city of there was a message. The alchemy world, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders. And in doing so, through the gates of the world open to Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, the steep price had already been made and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial fight. However, two survived. Jibor, the boy for whom by some miracle the light did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who spared the light altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years had passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons had retired, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new, bloodstained ritual, 
Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. All right. That's all for the narration. Narration. We are in the middle of the sea. Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jibu is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. Wait, why... does a blank before was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh. I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Okay. Oh, I can control her. All right, cool. Wow. She's doing some martial arts like junk kicks. All right. Press I. Uh, okay. Well, I can press up. Yeah, I can. Alright, uh, shift to open menu. I can press shift or escape. Equipment items can be viewed on the equipment inside the main menu. Alright, press uh, accept, which is for me it's uh, Z. Select a slot to change equipment from your inventory. The item can be equipped by selecting it from the item list. Uh, okay, well, I'll go with knife because uh, it seems that kung fu is like with your your kicks and all that, which I already did earlier. So let's go with the knife. All right, uh, is there anything else? No, no, no. That's the only weapon weapon I can equip. I mean, stuff that I can equip. Good, you're prepared. The next order of business is to. Why are you scared? I'll take care of it. Okay. Hey, you have to take care of it. You're the main character, obviously. Shar, a crystallized form of demon power. It cannot be handled by an ordinary human being. Conjure Shar, press S to trigger a projectile magic, consume MP. Carillion Flash, launch a bouncing ball of water at enemies was that a shard i'd forgotten the way it felt like uninvited claws scraping across my bones the demon's power was transmuted into that shard which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body the strength you gain from it is undeniable but eventually the crystal will devour you i thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption it did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shard. I know my body's limits better than anyone, and I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. Ah! 
Oh shit, I need to save that guy. How do they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Yes, speak like a true hero. You just want to kick ass, that's, I know. I mean, you're the main character and controlling as her, so... That's my be- that's- must be it, man. Galleon Minerva. Okay, this is the name of the area itself. Oh yeah, if I press space, I can see the map here, but uh, since that I'm pretty much at the beginning, there's not much to see here, other than the, you know, the straight uh, line. Okay, yeah, this is the, the magic I obtained by killing the monster earlier, so yeah. Candles can drop mana rolls when destroyed. Mana rolls is a magical rolls that res slightly resplenish MP. Alright, cool. Yeah, it, it really gave me like the Castlevania vibe here. Especially like the, the equipments and all that. Along with those uh, fires. Light fires. That you can destroy in order to restore your magical power this device responds to magic maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it oh wait can I open that chest okay there's a potion consumable items can be used by pressing shift under inventory there are certain doors are opened by holding Marion's arm in front of it tail RR to designate the direction Okay, but I'm not playing this on a controller, so... Okay, yeah. For me, since I'm playing on the keyboard, usually I have to hold D and move the mouse. Usually, I kind of find it like uh, odd that you have to use the mouse in order to, you know, to move your character aiming. Despite being a 2D platforming game, but uh, I guess there's not going to be much of it. Those kind of gimmicks uh, for the whole game. Uh. Usually, yeah, I mostly see, like, I mostly uh, see like uh, using like the, the mouse when you play. You're playing like a 3D game, platform games in general. Like 3D games in general. But otherwise, in 2D games, it's. I don't really, really see a purpose of it unless they put gimmicks like uh, the one you see earlier. HP max up, alright, cool. I just broke uh, some plank. Alright. Uh, let's see. Body. Country dress. Yeah, I know the dress is part of body to wear. So that's why I knew it in advance. So, oh shit, what is the blue stuff here? Okay, can I really interact with it? Take that! Alright. Whoa, easy there. Looks dangerous. Head flail attack by using a dull, dull hammer. Head as a flail. Rusty ring equipment. It seems like to be unnecessary. All right, cool. All right, and is there anything else? Let's see. Shards. Oh, head flail. I want to see how it looks like. As for the others, uh, I don't have anything. But usually, when I got the one. Crystal, their specific, uh, you know, type. It will just like fill fill up the place, you know. Hmm, this one doesn't seem to be so interesting. Uh, it looks like a normal attack, but uh, with a longer range. Press K and Z to jump through a thin platform. Usually K is a directional uh, key, but I can press down key as well. So there you go. Press keys and Z to slide. Yeah, same thing. Tunic. Tunic, what does it give me? Uh, 
screw this. Oh, a bookshelf, I can interact with it. From my studies, I've had found many existence of following attributes, slash, trust, strike, fire, ice, thunder, light, dark, poison, curse, stone. Uh, okay, this is like pretty much the status effect uh, that you can get in this game. Alright, cool. Let's move on. Uh, how about going to the right? Oh! That's a C spot? Really? And I save the game. Alright, cool. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's go down. Oh, shit. I don't know if we can attract more stuff here, man. Sometimes there's like a hidden passage. Alright. Oh, hairband, alright. Oh, secret room, alright. MP max up. 1000 G. Uh, it seems that G is the currency of this game. Uh, it's not the only game that I hear this kind of currency. It was in Castlevania as well. Especially that this game is like a spiritual successor of uh, Castlevania. I think it's Cast uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Because it was made uh, by the same director. So yeah, that's why. Uh, let's see. We got something, but I don't know which one is it. Oh yeah, hairband. There you go. Uh, I think I'm gonna change the chart because head flying doesn't seem to be that useful. It looks like a normal attack, so yeah. At least, uh, you know, carrying a splash it looks like a projectile to me. Alright, what's in there? Mosquitoon. A gun can be shot by equipping a custom mobile. Bullet when you're on a type of bullet, equip it the building, place it on a much weaker infinite bullet. Okay. Uh, I wanna see how it looks like. Mosquito infinite rounds. Okay, I wanna give it a try against someone in here. Oh, not so bad. There you go. There you go. Equipment. Ah, oh, shit, that's it? Only five bullets? Yeah, I want, I want to see damage uh, when the, it becomes infinite bullet. Oh, it's like much weaker, it's true. It's only five damage, unlike before it was, which is. 11. You know what? I'm gonna go with Kung Fu Shoes. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Kick, kick, kick. Alright. Wow, Tree Kicking is dead. Okay, what is this? Cannon Marte. Mort. In French. Directional char, aim with uh, RR and press Q to activate. Cast magic towards aim in direction, consume MP. Flame cannon, launch a fireball in designate, designated direction. Alright, cool. I'm gonna see that. Use by. Sh okay, yeah, alright, cool. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, it's in there something up there, but I don't know if I can access to it. I should go up here. Yeah, and there's a little bit of trap backtracking if uh, I'm missing some stuff. So that's why I'm going back here, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, alright, cool. Guess that's pretty much what I can find here. You know what? I'm gonna stick with the, with the knife, man. I mean, I'm more comfortable with this 
with the knife. Even if it has like a like the same range as the, the kicks. It's just not easy to see the weapons, you know. But it seems that it does a lot of like smaller damage than the kicks, but whatever. I'm gonna stick with this. Alright. Let's go there. Sugar! I don't know what the hell this monster is doing to me, but he died. Oh, what is this? MP max up. Alright. Let's go down. Stabby, stabby. Okay. Easy there. Alright, cool. Let's go down. Hmm. Galleon map. Press space to view full map. Oh wow. So what it does is like uh, it shows you like the other parts of uh, that can be accessible in this area, even if you didn't explore before, you know, with those uh, black outlines. So yeah, that's pretty much what it does. Instead, instead of you know forcing your way to in order to explore more stuff. There you go. Alright, cool. Stabby, stabby. Right. Hmm. Get down here. There you go. You know what? You want some of this? There you go. There you go. Alright, I already explored that area. I mean, this room. So I need to go to the right. Short Zor. Oh, really? Gonna give it a try. Short Zor. Alright. Oh, this one can give me a little bit more range, but the the attack rate's a bit lower. The way I see it. Alright. It's pretty neat to see the monster having uh, his head decapitated. Alright, flashing air kick, perform 3 spinning kick by repeating the same command and because 15. Weapons, confusion, dragon shoes. So, you're doing the move, you waste your MP. Looks neat, but uh, I don't know. I'd rather conserve my MP in that case. Browns. All right. Tannerit's scarf. All right, cool. Uh, oh yeah, all right. Got this. Nothing else. Die, monster. There you go. Alright, let's move on. Oh shit. There you go, you're dead. Can I jump higher than this? My jumping ability is not high enough. I mean, Maria's jumping ability. Alright, cool. Let's move on. Take that. Oh shit. That hurts. I destroy that monster. There you go. Come on. Just come closer to me so I can destroy you. Or kill you. Bronze Garden held it. Yay! Level up. 
Yo, I'm looking for the monster that floats in the air, in the air man. While flying around the, the whole place. Oh shit, what is this? There's a big monster in the background. I don't know what it, why it does appear, but it seems like it's found more enemies to kill. Safe rain. Oh shit, what the hell is this? The sacrifice attack to increase defense. Uh, well, I'm losing all my attacks, so pretty much wordless. Play more. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Command two handed great sword. Oh, shit, really? Well, I'm gonna check it out the damage first, and then uh, I'll see if I can keep it or not. Yo, shit, that attack rate is even slower than before, and the thing is that uh, since that it's heavy, my character cannot move for a little bit. But it's powerful. Oh, shit. Alright, cool, let's move on. Oh, shit, can I go out there? Oh, okay, I'm just going back here. Yeah, yeah, oh, shit. We're dead. Alright, cool. Uh, I don't know how to feel about it. You know what? I'm gonna stick with uh, Short Zor because... Yeah, this one gives you a better attack range. I mean, not range, but attack rate. It gives you more movement. The other one is like, uh, when you do the swipe, you cannot move, so it makes yourself vulnerable to enemy attacks, you know? Right, is there any secret passage here? Whip, oh shit, whip, really? Oh shit, this one is like slower. Hmm. Oh my god. One, two, three. Oh, that hurts. You're dead for doing this to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, man. I think race even slower than before. I could do like a, a jump attack in order to raise the attack rate, but it's a bit complicated, so I'm gonna stick with short lower, guys. And beside that, he has the same attack power. There we go. Come on. Yeah, the, the plank is tilting a little bit here. I mean, the platform. Jump! It's too far. Screw that. Okay, so there's a potion on that chest here. I have to go down. There you go, there you go, there you go. Tree rat that dies. I guess my sliding kicks here. Alright, cool. Oh wow, okay. Gonna save the game here. And I'm gonna stop it because it's starting out of time. So take care guys for the next episode of uh, Bloodstain. Ritual of the Night. Later, guys.